gonna start off with here is um, a few great cheeses. So we'll start with a cream cheese. And I'm using light cream cheese because the point of this is not to, you know, overextend yourself in the belly, but really a better spot for have great flavor and still feel like you aren't breaking that New Year's resolution. All right, so we have our cream cheese. We have Parmesan cheese in here. We're gonna get some olive oil mayonnaise, and I like to use olive oil mayonnaise because of um, it's a low-fat, reduced-fat mayonnaise, but it still has some great flavor. Next is garlic, and garlic always adds a really nice background note into this once it gets nice and cooked up. And then this is a light sour cream. That guy goes in there to get it all nice and creamy, what you're used to when you're eating spinach or chip dip. And then our onions. I have um, minced onions here. You wanna make sure and get them pretty fine so that way they cook down nicely when they're in the oven. And then we're gonna get our spinach. And I wanna show you this. So, Spinach is really moist and has a lot of water in it. So what you want to do, especially frozen spinach, you want to let it thaw out and then put it in a colander or um, a reamer like this and you just want to push it out and you want to push all the water out you can get out. And see, you can see how much water really comes out of this. And I did this already a little bit before. Get all of that out of there. Okay, that should be good. So our spinach goes in here set this guy aside. And then I, have to, I like to add a little bit of basil. Um, it adds a nice little um, flavor to it that the spinach can be a little bit bland, so it's nice to have a little brightness of the basil. So I get this here, and I'm kind of trying to layer the leaves here, one on top of the other, to make it a little easier to do a chiffonade, which is um, kind of a ribbon cut. So you roll those all up, and then just run your knife through it. Run your eyes through, and then I just want to take it back now the other way. So I hold the top of my blade and the handle and just kind of rock it back through. And that makes it really easy to chop up the basil into more fine pieces. There we go. Pop it into the party bowl. And good to go. And of course, what would spinach artichoke dip be without spinach and artichokes? So we got to add artichokes to the party. Get these guys rolling. And I use frozen artichokes, and these are, excuse me, artichoke hearts. So um, you can use frozen or canned. You wanna make sure that those are well drained um, as well, because you wanna try and get um, a lot of the moisture out of that. So it is a nice cheesy dip. And toss everything together. Once we kinda have things tossed together, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're getting this really nicely incorporated. Then adding a little bit of salt. So we're gonna add a nice hefty pinch. And then some fresh cracked black pepper. Give it one more really good toss together so all the salt gets in with everything. And then um, we just wanna pop it straight into our pans and then get it straight in the oven. And we are about ready to try our artichoke dip. So I just finished top chopping up my tomatoes to go over right on top since tonight I'm going to have um, a Christmas party. So I thought the red tomatoes with the green spinach and the artichokes I thought would be so festive. So I put this in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes. Now I'm just going to top it with the tomatoes. So just right over the top and then it's going to go back into the oven until it's nice and bubbly all throughout. And then I'm ready to serve. So this is my delicious spinach artichoke dip. Easy on your waistline and easy on your time. To find more recipes, check out thelatekitchen.com.